Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Adding the Book Class to the MVC Database Example. In this video, we'll review the class diagram for the book class. Then we'll create the book class file in our Eclipse project. Here we see two diagrams that are appropriate for thinking about our book class. First, in the database, we have a data model listed here as books. The books table will include four fields, the book ID, which will be an int and represent the primary key for each book record. We'll have a title field, which will hold a string representing the book title, an author field, which will be a string representing the book author, and then a pages field, which will be an integer representing the number of pages in the book very simple table. What we need to create in our Eclipse project is a corresponding model class. So on the right we see the UML class diagram for this book model class. Notice that our fields correspond to the fields of the book database table. Book ID which is int, title which is string, author string, and pages int. These will be the fields of our book class. For methods we'll first overload the constructors. We'll create a default book instructor, which will take no parameters and return void. We'll create a second overloaded book constructor, in which we can pass the values of the fields as int, string, string, int. For each of the fields, we'll also have a setter and a getter, the set book ID and the get book ID, set title and get title, set author, get author, set pages and get pages. Finally, just to make a complete, nicely rounded book class, we'll include the to string. So here we are in Eclipse. You can see that we've already prepped the project to begin. We've included two packages under the source folder, one called controllers, where we'll put our servlets, one called model, where we'll put our book class. We've included under the live folder our driver, which will be necessary to connect to the database and we've included just a quick intro page called index.jsp within the web content folder. For this video we're going to quickly create the book class and we're going to store that in the model package. So let's right click on model, select new, and class. Note that the source folder is right where we want it to be and it's in the model package. Under name, let's simply put big B book We'll leave it as public in the modifiers. Note the superclass is Java object. We're not inheriting for anything. We do not need to include a main method here, nor do we need constructors from the superclass. We might as well generate comments. Once the dialog is completed as desired, click on Finish. Now we see in the editor that our book.java file has been created, stored in the package model and called public class book. The first thing we need to do is create our private fields. Private int book ID. Our second field will be title. Private, it will be a string, title. Private, string, author. Private, int pages. One nice thing about Eclipse is we can generate constructors, setters and getters, and even the toString. So most of our methods we're going to use the Eclipse generate capabilities. Let's select generate constructor using fields from the source menu. We'll, we'll select all four fields for the first constructor that we will build. Note the insertion point says after pages. I generally like to build these in order, so let's select last member. Let's generate constructor comments. Omit call to default constructor. Select OK. After cleaning up just a little bit, we note that our constructor has been generated. Recall that we wanted to overload this constructor with a default constructor. We can generate it again or simply we can copy this. I'm going to choose to copy it and edit it. The default constructor will have no parameters.
and we'll select the default values. Let's just make it no title, no author, and zero page works. The default constructor may be used by somebody to create a book object that they want to hold in memory until such time as they have the values in their code to provide and then they'll use the setters to set those values. Next, let's create setters and getters for each of our fields. Again, this is very simple in Eclipse. You can go to source, generate getters and setters, make sure that all your fields are selected, Let's make the insertion point the last member. I like to keep my setters and getters together as pairs, so we'll sort them by fields and getters, setter pairs. Make sure they're publicly accessible. Once the dialog is set, click OK. We can scroll down and easily see that all the getters and setters have been set for our book. Finally, for completeness, I would like to include at the end a two-string method. Two-strings are nice methods that allow you to print, if necessary, the current state of an object as a string. This is actually inherited from the Java object class, but I like to overwrite it. So I'm going to source, generate two-string. Let's make sure all the fields are selected. I do not want to include any methods in my two-string. Let's make sure its insertion point is the last member. Generate method comments. Let's leave the string format the default template, which I could edit if I prefer. Code style will be string concatenation. Leave the other items as set by default and select OK. We can now see that a two string can be called, which will return a string that has book or the type of class, each field and its value within a set of braces. So that concludes the building of our book class. For more information about the concepts that you learned in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.